This is from section 3.3, a problem similar to your homework assignment. It says here, a certain group of test subjects had pulse rates with a mean of 70.7 beats per minute and a standard deviation of 10.9. Would it be unusual for one of the test subjects to have a pulse rate of 82.5 beats, 82 beats per minute? And identify your minimum and maximum usual values. So the minimum and maximum usual values are usually bounded by those numbers that are within two standard deviations of the mean. So if we're looking at a minimum usual value, we should be looking at this as 70.7 uh, .7 minus 10.9 uh, times 2. So the formula goes something like this. We got x bar minus 2 times uh, the standard deviation s. So that's actually 70.7 .7 minus 2 times 10.9. And let's pop up the calculator to, to find that for us. That's 70.7 .7 minus 2 times 10.9. And because um, the order of operations are satisfied here, the multiplication will come first and then a subtraction. And so we should get our results and that would be 48.9. And so we want um, to figure out the maximum value which is on the upper end and so that would just take a plus sign instead of a minus sign. So instead of subtracting uh, the standard deviation, two times the standard deviation, we're going to add two times the standard deviation. And let's see what we get for this. Uh, another trick in your calculator is that if you want to redo the same command but just change one thing, in this case we really just want to change a minus into a plus, we can say second function and enter and then that brings us to the previous command and then you can use the left arrow to go back and change whatever it is you need to change. If you need to delete things, this is the delete button here. Insert things would be second and in delete, and then that would give you the insert. Okay, so I'm just going to go ahead and press enter, and we get 92.5. So, what we want to do is we want to know if 82.5 is between these two numbers. In this case, it is, so we can just make that conclusion. 82.5 is between uh, the boundaries for the usual values. So yes, this is usual. Okay, I also wanted to show you this using uh, a, a number line. And so I've prepared a couple of number lines here for us to take a look at and this is the generic number line that they have in the textbook where they show you um, the set of usual values and this is based on what's called a z-score. We're going to match it up with the actual values that we have for this particular problem. So I have computed the z-scores for these values. The notable values are the values that are two standard deviations away from the mean. This is exactly the mean and this is the mean plus two times the standard deviation. This is the mean minus two times the standard deviation. And then if we look at all these other values, this is actually the mean minus one standard deviation. This is the mean plus one standard deviation. This is a one, sorry. And then this is uh, the mean plus three times the standard deviation. And notice these values just match up with these usual values up on top here. And this is the mean minus three times the standard deviation. So what we can do is we can essentially find the z-score for uh, 82.5. And notice that 82.5 is somewhere over here and that is clearly uh, within the usual values. But let's redo this problem using uh, another method where we find the z-value. Let's say over here we want the z-value for 82.5.
uh, you put that x value that you have, you subtract x bar, and then you divide the whole thing by s. So it'll be 82.5 minus 70.7 divided by 10.9. So let's figure that out in the calculator. Let's be careful when we're using the calculator. Let me show you how to do this incorrectly and then let's fix it. So if you were to try to do this in your calculator, it's 82.5 minus 70.7 and then you just hit divide by 10.9 you're not going to get the right answer and here's a, another hint that when you're looking for a z-score and that number 82.5 is fairly close to the mean 70.7 you shouldn't expect a really huge number like 76 and so in fact looking at our graph we should expect something that's a little bit bigger than one so how do we fix this remember how to uh, recall your previous entry I'm going to press second function and enter and then here I get to move and uh, instead of redoing this whole thing I'm going to insert parentheses on the whole numerator so starting at the beginning over here at 82.5 I'm going to say second function and insert and then I'm going to insert the one parentheses the opening parentheses and then I'm going to go to 70.7 and right before the division sign I want to I want to put my cursor on the division sign so I can insert it before that. So second function and insert and then the closing parentheses. Now if I press enter I should expect a number that's a little bit bigger than one and I get 1.08. So uh, that 1.08 is going to be the z-score that describes uh, how far away your value that's 82.5 how far away your value is from the mean and you're a little bit over one standard deviation away from the mean and uh, this this number line also clearly shows that okay so in either case our conclusion is still the same uh, this is in fact the usual value using the z-score we found that 82.5 has a z-score of 1.8 1.08 which is less than 2 Okay, so I hope this helps.